Okay, so here's a tour of my media room. As of right now, I'm about 90, 95% done maybe. I've got a few figures still to put up, but not very many. Um, what's up now is, okay, so this is going to be my He-Man section. So I've got Skeletor from uh, the movie Masters of the Universe, and I have, of course, the original Skeletor. And He-Man, Ram Man, Castle Grayskull, which actually came in today. Um, and then here I have my very few superheroes, but I've got here, this is a Bizarro. And yes, I have two Bizarros. Uh, reason for that is, well, for one, I really love the, I love this design. This is one of my favorite figures. Uh, Alex Ross is an amazing artist, illustrator. Did a lot of Marvel stuff as well. Um, uh, look up his art if you have it. It's amazing. Uh, so anyways, this guy's leg busted. So I glued him. You can see the glue right there. And I wanted to have one that was posable, even though I don't really pose them. It's pretty much the same pose, but uh, at least I can. So I have two of them. Here's my Swamp Thing. That I got from San Diego Comic Con. Um, and, um, yeah, he's pretty, uh, he's up there in value. Um, I really love Swamp Thing. some of my favorite characters of all time. Such a tragic hero. Uh, my Batmans, my 66 Batmans, Adam West, Burt Ward, Cesar Romero, my Michael Keaton 89 Batman, which is my favorite Batman of all time, and undisputable as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Batmobiles, this one actually I had since I was a kid. That's an original Batmobile from like the 70s. Um, this one my daughter put together for me. It's a, they call it the Bat Sports Car. So unlicensed uh, Batman uh, Batmobile from 89. And uh, also my daughter did this for me because I'm such a huge fan of that movie. This is from the movie um, when one of the journalists is kind of busting the other guy's uh, Knox's um, uh, chops over the his bat sightings um, okay Evil Dead autographed by Bruce Campbell Bruce Campbell and some more kind of just random figures throughout my collections over here Killer Clowns from Outer Space some pyramids he's actually a client of mine bought these from uh, Egypt gave them to me very good customer of mine um, and some uh, Akira Kurosawa figures from his movies the Transformer um, this is a Death Dealer, Frank Frazetta, um, yeah, you know, some rain, Talking Peewee, still talks, some masks, they live, um, Michael Myers from the new Halloween, Halloween Kills, and then, uh, Peter Cushing, Peter, Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee, excuse me, get your English actor straight, where I do, um, Sid Haig is Captain Spaulding, uh, this is Zombie from Lucho Fulci Zombie. Autographed Clive Barker t shirt that I had since the 90s. Um, autographed Kane Hodder, Jason Mass. Kane Hodder played Jason quite a few times. Mm. Got that autograph from him. That's my oldest daughter made for me. And over here I have some of my horror movie heroes. Well, I've got the, this is the Tar Man from Return of the Living Dead. Brains, our brains, and then I've got a uh, uh, old uh, Hellraiser tin autographed by both Doug Bradley and Clyde Barker at different times. Um, the Tall Man from Phantasm, Leatherface, Freddy, uh, Ash, and the boyfriend from. Uh, Evil Dead 2 down here. I've got Commando. I've got Terminator, Random Werewolf, Godzilla. One my GI Joe figure. I have these. Uh, these are Japanese so Fubi figures. These two right here. This guy's just some green slime dude from the movie The Green Slime. This is a uh, Combat Joe. So uh, in Japan, uh, Takara was not allowed to use the GI Joe uh, name, the trademark. Even though they bought the they bought the molds, they licensed the molds from Hasbro, but they weren't allowed to uh, to use them, so they had to change them up to Combat Joe, and then they did, did this whole Android version. 
I have smaller versions of these too. I'll show you in a bit. Really cool documentary on it on uh, YouTube. You can watch about Hasbro. How they essentially tried to screw over Takara and it backfired on him. Then they tried to screw over Kenner and it backfired on him too. Um, so, uh, my Spawn figures. I love Spawn. He's one of my favorites. Um, got Spawn coming down a wall. Hamburger face Spawn. Medieval Spawn. Clown, Violator, Sam and Twitch. Up here I have my Alien and Predator figures. Bishop. This is a metal Predator that my parents got for me a few years back. Um, some eggs. And, uh, this is a very rare Predator. You won't find him in stores. He was very... Uh, NECA only made one run of him because they made it and they, then they found out that that the creator, Sandy Colora, did not have licensing rights from Fox. So they had to cease production pretty quickly. Um, so I got one. and uh, A lot of collectible figures, but yet I don't keep them in their blisters, so they're really not worth as much when you open them up. But I'd rather just pose them and enjoy them than keep them in blisters uh creature from black lagoon from uh actually it's from this year from halloween horror nights um he's a little smaller than my other horror fi the, the universal uh what they call it the uh, silver the sideshow collectibles um but uh yeah i, was, I didn't feel like paying 200 bucks for creature from black lagoon so i paid like 20 for this guy he's a little smaller but who cares uh, these guys are from the silver screen, the sideshow collectibles. These are kind of expensive. When I bought them, they were about 30, 40 bucks each, now they're well over, a little over 100. Again, in blisters. Right now, they're probably worth a lot less. Uh, I like the way they're shaped, especially Wolfman. Wolfman's actually glued to the base, so he can't fall over. So it looks like he's going to fall over, but he won't. Uh, the Munsters, I'm going to keep going here to another shelf so I can put more Munsters. I want to eventually have them all. So I left room to go either direction on this one. Um, Jack the Ripper, I guess. No one really knows what he looks like, but maybe he looks like that. Boris Karloff is the mummy. Lon Chaney Sr., Lon Chaney Sr. Um, Christopher Lee back there. Cap uh, Cabinet Caligari. La Tiburonera, full size. This is an actual resin kit that was hand painted by my friend Sandy. And hand threaded together and um this the small action figure version that was available on kickstarter and i got his autograph right here this is sand my friend sandy right there directing the movie a custom made piranha that my buddy actually here in texas made for me um he made this guy eric bendel made that and he made this guy pretty cool this is xtro it's a alien British alien horror film, horror abduction film, alien abduction film, excuse me, uh, a glycy, uh, number 14 of 150 by Rick Baker, Rick Baker's design of Lon Chaney from London After Midnight, uh, Fabio Fritzi autographed this for me when I met him, he's a composer of Gates of Hell, aka City of the Dead, Right here I have Zombie Vern. This is uh, Vern Langdon's creation. Um, it's a custom made piece. Uh, custom design. Vern Langdon was a mask maker for Don Post. And he was also a uh, 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 really good organist. And a wrestler for a while. Um, my tail gunner who's missing his weapons. I hit the floor over here. He's got a big old like 50 cal that he holds on to somehow. There we go. Yeah, this is tail gun ammunition. This is tail gun. Okay. Critters from uh, uh, They Live. This is uh, from uh, Haunted Mansion. It's the Hatbox Ghost. His face actually comes off. And uh, you can put it in here. And then you can like, move this face. Moves. If you've ever been on the ride, you, you, you see that illusion where the face moves from the from from his face from the head to the Hat box. Hat box comes down. And I can't really do it with one hand, but the face goes on here and it goes back in. Okay. It's a little loose. Uh, it's Michael Myers on a Ken doll. Alex from uh, Clockwork Orange. There's a Wehrmacht. Were uh, Wolfman from uh, 
I think the third Puppet Master. Judge Dredd. I am the law. ABC Warriors. The Crow. The um, the Thing. One of my favorite movies. Uh, Dog Soldiers. Great British werewolf movie. Uh, Hellboy. Guillermo del Toro. Also have Devil's Backbone. Guillermo del Toro. Um, the Red Queen. It's an old uh, early 70s uh, horror series. Italian horror. Um, Escape from New York. St. Pliskin, Planet of the Apes. Big uh, um, Trouble of China. Nightbreed. This is Decker. Mr. T. I pay the fool. Oh, I love Mr. T. Um, every day I go by the 75, I see his uh, picture, the billboard uh, for Aaron's, the A team. I, I, I love it. Um, almost met him, too, one time. Um, and. Um, don't know what, what what happened, but he was uh, he was at a what, at a comic convention, and uh, I don't know what he's promoting, but um, this was made back in like the late nineties. Kiss. I think I went here already. Okay, so over here. Okay, so over here we have the tinier versions of the robots that from Takara. Um, giant robot. Well, he's a little one, but he's from the giant robot store. It's just store in uh, West Hall West LA um, some of the little crazy little guys this is a uh, going to guys Mazinger Mazinger Super Robot Wars Mazinger I never I think I already did this side already um, the He-Man's yeah, that's about it so we still have room to expand now um, well Mars Attacks Oh, my Star Wars figures. So my Star Wars figures are going to go down here somewhere. Uh, I can't find the box that they're in. It's, uh, I have them in a box somewhere. Uh, right here I have Evil Knievel. Evil Knievel. Uh, two versions of them. Uh, Megadeth's. Uh, I forget the dude's name, but he's like the mascot. Here's Eddie from uh, Iron Maiden, the trooper. A few Funkos, Funko Pops. I don't really like these too much. Um... But I got some nonetheless. Rowdy Rowdy Piper. Um, and then yeah, here I have uh, I have one. I found one. This is the the last uh, Star Wars figure I bought. But I have some old classic ones too, and uh, I could probably fill the whole bottom section because um, they fall over easy, so I can't really put them in the bookcase. Um, or I guess I could, but no nah, space. All these are cool chairs. So these chairs, I got it. These are you know if you are familiar with Die Hard. The Nakatomi Plaza. That's the uh, the big skyscraper in the, in the movie. It's actually the Fox Studios uh, high rise. That's in a, in a, uh, Century City. So they had this event a few years back where um, I don't know how I got invited. It was so cool, but they did a a screening, outdoor screening of Die Hard on a big inflatable, uh, huge inflatable screen, and. Um, uh, a few of the actors were there. Uh, Bruce Bruce Willis wasn't, but the, I think the director was there. Uh, the girl who played his wife in the movie. Um, the cop dude, he was there. I forget his name. Um, and it was really cool. Anyways, as a, it was, they had really cool food. They had um, uh, searchlights on the building. They had a bunch of Nakatomi decorations. They had the limousine that Argyle drove. Um, Oh, they had Argyle. Argyle was there too. They had the limousine there. They had the, like the teddy bear in the back. Um, the uh, Run DMC uh, Chris song playing. It was really cool. And anyways, uh, so um, so these are like collectibles that you got to take home. Um, Debbie went, so she got one. They got the other. And uh, they're really cool. They're actually very comfortable chairs. And um, I'm probably going to keep them in here. Here's my Jimi Hendrix. He's going to go up. I just, I'm trying to figure out if to put them here. Uh, or to put them downstairs where my media room is, because downstairs I have more figures, um, and more stuff, and that's where all my records are. So I may put them down with my records, but then I might move these guys also. So I just need to find the shelf to put downstairs. All right, well that's uh, you know, what it is so far. That's a uh, Gouldsville uh, Ben Cooper, uh, the old uh, Halloween costumes from like the I don't know forties. 50s 
There's a good documentary on that too. And this is a, this is like the, just a jumbo size version. Uh, that glows in the dark. Well, I don't know if it does glow in the dark anymore. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Alrighty. Well, hope you enjoyed the little tour.